Assalamu alaikum friends and welcome to Hype Productions. In this video today we are having uh, Adobe Photoshop and uh, we are gonna learn about some color replacement with some different tools of Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. <music> First of all, I'm, I have this Adobe Photoshop interface. I'm gonna open my file, which is something like this, I guess. Uh, I think that will be my car. And this is the Toyota hybrid car, uh, one of a model. So let's do not go in the deep, but uh, at least we will have to think about the color of this car. So we have multiple options. We have multiple tools for the color changing of the image like this if i will go to the image panel which is this one and go to the adjustment so we have so many colors options and uh, we can play with these in some different way like if i go to the color balancing so i have some different color from cyan to red magenta to green and the yellow to blue so if i will increase my red color so you can find out some differentiation on these images and maybe if I will take my magenta, so you can find out the addition of magenta color is going to be increased in the image. Likewise, I, if I have a condition that I want to change the color of a particular object, like in this video, or sorry, in this uh, photo, you're watching there's a car of Toyota. Behind it, it's also another vehicle and uh, here is a vehicle as well. There are three vehicles, four vehicles and some greenery grass or trees but if i want to change the color of a single individual object which is my this car so i have also an option which was like from the color replacement tool and this is the tool which will help you to change the color suppose that i have taken this color replacement tool and i have this blue color here so the simple thing is that I will have to paint just like a simple painting so the color is going to be apply and remember this tool will not disturb your color tone or the reflection on the body of this car everything is in a proper way as you can see or as you can find out note one thing that this tool will not work on pure black and pure white color so if I take the zoom so you can find out the proper reflection can be seen in this uh, and we only can change the color only a color so it's also an option but uh, the main thing the best tool I guess uh, from my point of view not no, not only the best just for the my point of view the best tool is hue saturation so what am I going to do with the hue saturation? Hue saturation, you will have to find out the image adjustment and the hue saturation, this one. Control U is the shortcut key of hue saturation. So if I'll take the hue saturation, so this will appear at three options in front of you. One is hue, second one is saturation, and the third one is lightness. What is the meaning of hue? Hue can change your colors, the color variations. But if I talk about saturation, so saturation normally increase the intensity of color, whatever you select, whatever you have selected in the hues. So saturation will increase the intensity. And if you think about the lightness, so lightness is called the brightness, brightness and the darkness. So if I will show you, the increment of lightness so it will increase light in the photo or maybe it will go to the dark side disappear normally if i take the hue saturation suppose i'm going to take a little bit to side of this color so as you can see the color is changed but what saturation is going to be done saturation will increase the intensity of this color have you seen the intensity of color which is changed by the hue Again, I'm going to come to the same point that we have the intentions to change the color of a particular object, which is actually my this car. 
so what am i going to do i can take hue saturation from this part here as well but if i i, I will take the hue saturation from this part this is uh, normally an adjustment layer so i will click on them and then i will find out the hue saturation here on that point so i will have to select the hue saturation like this so the same thing is going to be done as we have done in this image adjustment option everything is going to be changed but uh, my point of view is to change the individual object so first you will have to find out the color of the individual object and the color of the individual object is red so double click on the adjustment hue saturation and go to the master and if i will go to the master so i can find out so many colors red yellow green cyan blue and magenta my car is red so i will select the red color it means you can find out these are the range selector here where you can find out the color red so they have selected the range of red color from starting till ending so let's see if i will change the red color So now you can see this car is turning into green or maybe into cyan or maybe into blue. But the grass color remains constant. The color of this car remains constant. So we have done our aim. We wanted to change the color. So we have done this. Saturation if you want to increase. So it will increase the color intensity. The color of this car okay we have done this but actually we are gonna we have some mistakes in here which is this part these are getting blue as well why they are getting blue because it has also the red color i have selected red color and changed the red color so they are also in the red colors that's why they are getting blue as well so what is the treatment or what is the solution of this thing you have to select this part which is this this is called the layer mask you have to select the black color and take the brush tool and start removing them it is like a ray it will work like a razor tool so make it zoom by control plus and you, you can decrease the size of my brush and start painting the edges side like they will become proper red we have only changed the color of our car they have also shaded something red shadows that's why they are changed as well i think i did some mistakes like this and yes they are also getting blue i'm going to increase the size of my brush and i'm just removing the extra blue from the surface So guys as you can see we have easily created this red car into the blue color replacement without any selection like i i also wanted to have an individual car to select them and then i will have to change the color but without selection i have to take just one master color layer from the red selection and then i have just uh, make it blue so my next step it is okay fine now i'm gonna call my another image because i would like to select the color and then change so as you can see the she is the actress her name is alexandra Ridario, the hollywood actress one of my favorites so let's see if i will see her eyes she has uh, beautiful eyes as well so what am i going to do i have to take change the color of her lens i can take my replacement tool 
and decrease the size and I'm just going to click them so their eyes can be changed easily but we have some selection problems what I'm going to do I'm going to take the elliptical tool elliptical marquee tool and I will select her lenses like this I will select lens from here like this as you can see the selection is going out of the eye so what you are going to do you have to take this one which is called subtract selection and you will have to subtract the extra selection so once again you have to go to the adjustment and then find out hue saturation so the saturation will going to change the lens color like this maybe you can increase your selection so saturation so you can find out there are some of the most different colors here so if I will make it uh, the color was this one I'll make it the brown color lens eye that's okay so as you can find out her eye becomes brown or a little bit maroon double click on it and you can find out some more different color like green so this one as well you can do with the help of the hue saturation so guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you got my point i hope you know how to replace the color of an object or by selection or by selecting the particular individual colors I hope you like this tutorial. If you like this, so subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so we can give some more tutorials about it. Thank you so much.